if Nigerians listen very well, the president when he came to power said, I'm for nobody, I'm for everybody, which is what he should be. But eventually the president said, those who voted for me, I'm going to give them 95%. That's a hate speech against those who didn't vote for you. It is a total violation of the oath of office and the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Once elected, you are no longer president of APC or PDP, but the president of the whole Federal Republic of Nigeria. Buhari violated that. In his appointment, there are 14 heads of security agencies in the country. 11 are from the north, 2 from the southwest, and 1 chief of naval staff from the south-south. Nobody from the southeast. Is that not hate? That is not even hate speech. It is hate action. Now, in the appointment of inner circle, like chief of staff, secretary to the government, everybody thought he had gone to Boneon. You remember? And he did his usual thing. So we began to see nepotism on the part of a president. We began to see hate, which translated into marginalization. Clearly. And there is no armor against the will of a people. You can't suppress any. This is a democracy. People must talk. And they began to talk. That's what they are calling agitation. Yes. If I'm being victimized, I will say it. It's very, very glaring that Buhari has been anti Igbo, anti East. And if the reasons are that they didn't vote for him, it's, it's utter rubbish. It's unheard of in the history of any well known uh, Trump now will say this person didn't vote for me, therefore, you discriminate against them. So, uh, the president is the chief sponsor and promoter of the agitation in the Southeast. I have accused him of that. Because if he had a level playing field and treated all Nigerians equally, there would be no justification. But he, he is the chief sponsor of all the agitations. And then when the agitation started, you expect the father of a nation to call your boys. Come, let us dialogue. He treated them as if they are inconsequential. Dialogue can solve a lot of problems. You don't have to concede, but at least you call them. He said to go to hell. The hell is where all of us are today. So the president mismanaged it, and that is how Boko Haram was also mismanaged. You take an inconsequential unknown colonel and put him in the prison, he becomes an instant hero. And then you release him and gave him terms and conditions, he violates it. Because you have created a hero. The president created this situation. This APC government of Buhari is responsible for the agitations you have seen all over the country. 